All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video review for the teaser trailer for Superman, the 2013 movie called Man of Steel. Uh, a few people asked me what I thought about it and decided I'd do a video. Wasn't sure because it's pretty quick. You know, it's not too long of a teaser trailer. If you haven't seen it yet, just go to YouTube search, type in uh, Man of Steel teaser trailer, and you will find it. It's about a minute long or so. And uh, basically all it shows is, uh, actually, it's kind of interesting. It's it's very, it feels very intimate because you have a, a voiceover of uh, either of Superman's dads, depending on which one you watch. You have, uh, in one case, uh, Jor-El or uh, Pa Kent, and, and uh, played by either uh is it Russell Crowe or Kevin Costner? Russell Crowe being Jarrell, Kevin Costner being uh, Pa Kent. So you have the two of them sort of voicing it over, and uh, you kind of get to see uh, Superman in a really cool scene where he's just like a kid, and he's playing, he's got this like red cape around. And then there's another one where it shows him like hitchhiking and doing different like things like this, like regular jobs, working on like some kind of like a ship doing something. I could, I didn't catch exactly what it was, but yeah, just, like, you know, like, like just doing these different things. It's like, you know, just really, really bizarre. I mean, there was a comic book last year. I forget uh, the guy who wrote it, uh, Strenzinger or something like that. I, I, I always mess up his name. Uh, he wrote uh, Thor for a while and now he's with DC and he did a, a arc in Superman where he just like walks across, <laughs> across like the States. Uh, yeah, he just like walks, uh, and that's that's pretty much like you know a couple issues of him just walking. It's really weird, but anyway, uh, it sounds like that may have some influence in the movie. Um, I also like that it seems like it'll probably be sort of uh, in the way that Batman Begins focuses a lot on um, Bruce Wayne or Batman and how he feels and why he makes the decisions he does to become Batman, this kind of stuff. It looks like this will kind of be a lot like Superman Begins where, you know, we'll get to sort of see inside Superman's head why he makes the decisions he does, you know, what he's doing, um, how he feels, and then eventually becoming Superman and, um, of course, you know, saving the world against General Zod and all kinds of crazy alien villains probably, uh, or at least maybe a couple others. Uh, thrown in there just just to keep things interesting spice it up a little bit but uh, yeah if you guys don't know the producer is uh, Christopher Nolan of course uh, can't go wrong with that and the director is Zack Snyder can't go wrong with that either he was the director for Watchmen uh, and of course Christopher Nolan you guys all know who that is I'm not even going to go over that uh, but yeah Zack Snyder should be good uh, he I really like visually Watchmen I think that Watchmen is one of the best conversions from like a comic book to a movie I think it really looks good um the, the scenes where Dr. Manhattan um, sort of becomes, you know, his blue form, so to speak. So just some amazing effects in it. And uh, I really like how it's all dark. All of the effects throughout it, it's, it's really cool. I, I'm really excited to see, you know, how that's going to look uh, for Man of Steel. Because it looks like this will be actually like kind of like a darker tone uh, film. It looks very realistic, too. Like the, the shots and everything, the colors... Uh, they don't look too vibrant in, in either way. They look kind of like dull, kind of. You know, give you that feel of like it, it feels really realistic, you know. And then, of course, there's Superman who flies up and breaks the sound barrier and you see it crack and everything like that. And it's, it just looks really, really cool. Now, granted, it's just a teaser. It's just a little bit, you know. We don't get to see that much. But um, to me, in terms of the tone and the way it looks, it actually looks like um, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight Trilogy, Done with Superman, which is perfect. I mean, done, fixed, right there. You know, Superman returns the disaster that that was. How do you fix Superman? Well, if you do the same thing you did with Batman with Superman, I guarantee you it will work. You know, you make people care about the character. You take it seriously. You don't just treat it like some silly comic book movie. Because if you do that, then, yeah, sure, 13-year-olds will like it. But people that, you know, are older like us, we're not going to like it, you know. Um, and it's probably not going to do as well in the long run. You probably won't get a good solid, you know, couple movies out of a trilogy, whatever, if you don't, if it doesn't take itself seriously. Um, I think the 90s with um, Schumacher's work on Batman kind of proved that if it just these days, like, is it's just silly and campy and all that stuff, it's probably just not going to work. The more serious it takes itself, the better, you know, um, sort of like vice versa, you know, with going from that to Batman Begins, you know, it should be the same kind of thing. The Superman should take itself very seriously going forward. You shouldn't have Superman have a son that throws a piano at somebody or does all these other ridiculous things. Now, not that that was campy, but you guys understand what I'm saying. Um, so if they do that and they sort of focus more on Superman and, and think about it when they're, you know, they're doing it as how would, how would he feel like if he was a real person? 
You know, um, what are the struggles that he would deal with? And I think that the teaser trailer kind of shows that he's probably at that time dealing with some of these struggles. You know, like he's Superman, but being Superman doesn't necessarily pay the bills. You know, you got you to gotta do something or maybe he's just, you know, doing some introspection. He's kind of doing these different things, hitchhiking and all that to sort of, you know, get his head right, get a sense of who he is. And uh, it just looks really interesting. Uh, I can't wait to see the movie. I will be excited to see it. Uh, 2013, next year, of course, um, there'll be that, and let's see what else is coming out. Uh, Iron Man and uh, another Thor, right? So, should still be a good year. I mean, this year was the big year, but um, any Superman fans, I'm sure they're going to be really excited for next year, and I think this is going to turn out to be a huge success. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about it. A Superman film that takes itself seriously, does introspection, and, uh, you know, all of that, I mean... That's going to be great, I think, personally. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Later, guys. Peace.